PJ. Welcome to Cincinnati. I appreciate it. How excited are you to be joining uh, Dax and the Bengals? Uh, man, it's great. Uh, man, this is the best thing. I already going to be the uh, second day we had back at Michigan, man. I already talked to him and everything. I can't wait. DJ, what was the pre-draft process like talking with the Bengals? You know, did you feel like you had a good feeling after talking to them? Did you see yourself being on a team like that? Yeah, uh, I mean, I had a formal with them, and uh, I had a good formal, and yeah, you know, and I had, you know, I, I got a good relationship with Dax, and I mean, yeah, it all just worked out, and you know, I'm just excited to be part of the team. DJ, uh, Coach Taylor mentioned that you, you had a, a lengthy visit with Chuck Burks and talked to him a good amount through the process. What kind of questions did you have for him about kind of what Cincinnati did and maybe similarities that y'all ran at Michigan with what they do here? Uh, I mean, he just I'm a competitive corner, um, versatile, and he was just saying that he's going to, you know, put a lot on my plate and think I can get it done. And, you know, I'm just excited for it, and I feel like I can fit in perfectly with the Bengals. What's the biggest key to being versatile? They mentioned that you might be able to go inside or outside, uh, played a lot outside. What's the biggest key to being able to do that well at a high level, you think? Uh, really just, you know, knowing the playbook, knowing what's coming on. Uh, you know, that's two different positions, so that's more to learn. So I just say knowing both positions uh, is just a big, big key, you know, so I can go in or inside or outside and any down in any situation and know what's going on. Your 4.26 40-yard dash time obviously sticks out, among other things. You know, how do you see yourself using that to take advantage going against receivers on the field? Oh, man, just, you know, trust my feet, and I know my speed. Uh, trust my technique, and, you know, just don't change anything I've been doing, you know, and uh, just, you know, just be comfortable and comfortable out there. DJ, what's the fastest 40 you've ever ran? Uh, hand time, I, I mean, i say it's been around my four. Hand time, I four two two around there. How big of a deal was it for you to be the fastest guy at the combine? Was that a goal? Oh uh, man, yeah, no, nah, it definitely was. I was trying to go for the record, actually. Mm -hmm. DJ, have have you watched many Bengals games over the years? And if if so, what stuck out to you? Yes, sir. Uh, no, I have. Um, you know, just kind of they winning Super Bowl. I mean. And then I was watching them all the time, you know, because Dax was out there last year. So I was tuning in every week. So I just, I've been watching them a lot recently. When you were watching Dax, could you picture yourself or envision yourself playing on the Bengals? Yeah, for sure. Nah, for sure. I, 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 we, we joked around about it and was like, man, what if we get back together? Man? It actually happened. When did you start joking around? When, when, when did you have those conversations? Oh, man, as soon as he got drafted last year, we was talking about it as hey, you the next one out. And we were talking about it all the way then, and it, it literally just so happened. It happened. What's it like playing alongside Dax on the field? Oh, it's great. It's great. I mean, like I said, it's definitely going to be it's comfortable. I've been doing it for years. And, yeah, like I said, now, now I'm going to get to do it at the top level. DJ, you know, you're, you're a little bit on the smaller side in comparison to the other corners. How do you try to compensate for that? And do you think when you get into the league, you might need to add weight or bulk up or anything like that? Oh, uh, yeah, you know, but I've been on a lighter my whole life, you know, uh, and I just trust my feet and speed. I know, you know, I got to use what I have, you know, best. And my speed, nobody's faster than me, so I got to trust my technique and know what my speed, use it to my advantage. When you were watching Dax every week, like you mentioned, what did you really like about the Bengals secondary? Like, what stood out just watching them on TV or whenever you watched them? Aggressive. They're aggressive. Uh, I can tell they was communicating well and just know what's going on. And, you know, being in the secondary, you got to be confident and comfortable with each other. And I can tell that it definitely was. Um, you know, being in the secondary, that's, it's a big deal. You can't mess up back there. And so, you know, I could tell that it was definitely on one accord back there. DJ, the, the Bengals have... Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, Tyler Boyd. How uh, much are you looking forward to going up against those guys every day in practice? Oh man, great! I'm not gonna see better. So it's definitely a good time, a good thing I got in my practice. Like you know, practice uh, makes the game easy. DJ, are there any quarterbacks you've watched that you've really tried to uh, you know pick stuff from their game? Uh, I, mean, I, I take a lot from everybody. You know, uh, it's definitely a good amount of cornerback that I've definitely watched. Um, you know, and it doesn't matter any, every corner, honestly. I always take something from every corner, uh, safety or nickel, it doesn't matter. Uh, and I always try to improve myself.
DJ, I think that's it. I've got one more question for you. Do you use periods with your initials? No, I do not. <laughs> no, I do not. Okay. Uh, we just want to make sure we get it right. I appreciate it. Yeah. And you put the second. And the second. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yes, sir. All right. Sounds good. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank DJ. You. I appreciate Thank you. it. Bye.